So the title uh, of this presentation is still to be announced, but at least we know what it's about. <laughs> so it's about even and some questions that we want to discuss uh, about its meaning and distribution. Uh, we don't have answers at the moment, but we think that's okay for cocktail and for just seven minutes we have. So uh, here's an example in one, uh, even if one uh, came to the party, uh, and this is the most widely known and best understood type of even, and not the one we're interested in. Still, uh, what is known about examples like this is that uh, the information conveyed by the sentence consists of assertive and presuppositional content. It asserts that Ivan came to the party and presupposes that there were other people who came, and among them, Ivan is the least likely person uh, to go to that particular party or to parties in general. Um, let's also observe that um, in questions uh, we have the same meaning, the same information as we had in the example in one. We still have uh, the feeling, we still get the information that uh, that guy is the least likely person to come to the party, which means that the presupposition they observe uh, in assertions uh, is still there in questions. Um, and more or less the same thing happens in Russian. Here are corresponding Russian example. Please note that Russian even is done. Uh, so we will refer to even and daja in our examples as unlikely even, um, and we'll call um, the constituent that is the focus of even uh, associated with even, and in our examples it was John uh, and Ivan. Here is an example we are interested. Uh, imagine a conversation in which uh, one of the guys suggests that they meet at Oleana's for dinner and ask if it's okay. Uh, B replies, haven't heard of that place. Where is that even? And this is even we are interested in. And um, the question is exactly what this, what does this utterance convey? Uh, uh, apparently what it means is that B uh, doesn't know anything about Aliana's, uh, not even where it is. Uh, here are more examples. What is that even? Uh, what is he even wearing? Why is he even here? Uh, what was he even thinking? <laughs> the question, another question is, can those cases be reduced to the one we know of, to the unlikely even? Uh, what is the associate of even here? Uh, what is that constituent whose unlikelihood in particular predicate is conveyed. Uh, so, uh, with all uh, the even examples like these, uh, our even, uh, to mean that uh, it is the even we are interested in. Um, so, this is the question that we may want to ask, uh, because it's generally desirable that uh, we could produce different types of uh, the observed uh, semantics and observe distribution to something common. Um, <coughs> let's look at Russian. Uh, the striking fact is that Russian uses here a different word. Uh, uh, 
вообще одет. И она вообще о чем думала? Ну, даже они вообще не имеют ничего общего, но не синхронически, но диакронически. Но также, что греки используют два разных слова, но это Сабин, кто знает, что это за слова. Я не знаю. И это... Что это может быть? Это значит, что это значит, что это значит. Uh, enter? All right. So, um, what happens when you have one language where you have one word expressing two meanings and another language where you have two different words? Well, it could be that there's accidental homophony, or it could be that the meaning is not that, uh, the homophony is not that accidental, that, for example, English even means something less than Russian, the two Russians even. It's just that when you put English even in a certain environment, it will end up meaning Dajan, and you put English even in a different environment, it will end up meaning this uh, other word. <laughs> 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 so, um, it's not just that you pronounce it well, you also does the facial expressions, as you saw very well. <laughs> okay, so we need to learn more uh, before we decide among these. So we're obviously not going to get the prize for finishing on time, uh, so if we absolutely were forced, if somebody put a gun to our head and said, okay, reduce your even to unlikelihood even, um, what would we say? So let's meet Olianas for dinner. Is that okay? I haven't heard of that place. Where is that even? So here is an, a way to connect it to unlikelihood. We could say that even the most unlikely thing for me to be ignorant about with respect to Olianas, I'm ignorant about. The most unlikely thing for me to be ignorant about is its location, right? So that's like the least thing, the most likely thing that you'll know, therefore the most unlikely thing to be ignorant about. So this is where unlikelihood can be seen in our even, with a gun to our head. Okay. Uh, for those of you who know what scales are, that means that the elements of the relevant scale would be propositions expressing knowledge about Olianas, and the lowest element on the scale is knowing its location. Okay. That is, if I knew anything about the Alanas, I would know its location. And so therefore, this discourse is infelicitous. Let's meet the Alanas for dinner. Is that okay? What is the name of the chef? <laughs> 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 now, also what is put this in context where this makes sense, right? Where we are sort of, you know, uh, food experts and we're writing for a magazine and that where this would be the most expected thing for me to know. But out of context, it's sort of for a normal context, um, this is not good enough. So of course having this intuition that we're dealing with unlikelihood of propositions about knowledge is not enough. We need to read the literature on even, which we haven't done yet because this paper started yesterday and or the day before yesterday at four in the afternoon over coffee. Um, find out the syntactic constraints that govern the, dis the distribution of even and come up with a compositional semantics for it. That is for our even. Not the other even has been beaten to death. I mean, there's like a huge little bit on it. So here are some relevant observations in that direction. Uh, it seems that our even can only appear in certain syntactic environments. For example, if you have even on an NP, so if you have the even on the focus, you can't get our even. So what has even Ivan read does not mean this, you know, I have no clue what, what or but he hasn't read like the most unlikely thing. But what has Ivan even read? The, the um, even comes out, the other even comes out. Mm -hmm. So um, the other thing is that it seems that our even cannot appear in assertions. So we showed it in questions, but if you put even wherever you want to put it, and even if you put negation in it or not, our even does not pop out. So far, it appears only in questions. So maybe that no, oh, this must have been should have been higher up, sorry. So does it appear only in questions? So what about conditionals? If Ivan has even read Anna Karenina, Mary will get him a gift. To us, this morning, this seemed to not have the reading of our even. But you know, tell us what you think. In Russian, uh, you can put the Russian version of our even in it, but apparently here 
Пинки Если Ваня вообще читала ему Каренину, Маша одарит его чем-нибудь прекрасным. So, moreover, another question we need to ask is, um, is the question, so, so what we seem to think is that our even appears in questions, but are these honest to goodness questions? Are they information seeking questions or are they a way of saying something? So, what is that even? Does it, am I really expecting you necessarily to tell me something or am I saying, um, I don't know where that is. Now, you might say that actually these are information-seeking questions because you can respond with, you know, saying where, um, uh, saying where that is. Um, but that doesn't prove that those are questions, right? So I can say, where is it even? You can tell me on Hampshire Street. Where is it, example? Is that Lord Dam? Ah, yes, here it is. So you can, for example, uh, I can say, where is it even? And you can say, well, it's on Hampshire Street. Okay? But this doesn't prove that you know, the string, where is it even, is a question. Because even if I tell you, I don't know where Olianas is, you know, if you're a good speaker and you've read your brush, you will tell me where Olianas is. Okay? But it doesn't make this a question, just because you respond to it that way. Um, Okay, so so far we have seen that our even appears in WH questions. Does it appear in yes, no questions? Here's an example. So, um, <laughs> let's get Sergei to cook a Sydney with raspberry sauce, A says. And I say, is Sergei even here? Or I can say, can he even cook? <laughs> he can. So, are these occurrences of unlikelihood even? Or are even? So in Russian, <laughs> so you might say that it's our even uh, because in Russian it appears with sort of you know this particular like, sort of item. Um, so judging from the Russian examples, one would think that this is not unlikelihood even since, as I said, we have you know this other form. However, um, so if it is our even, there are differences between our even in yes no questions and our even in WH questions. So here are some differences that we found. In yes no questions, it does not seem that what is conveyed is that the most unlikely proposition for me to be ignorant about, I'm ignorant about. So where is that even? Means, you know, I don't know the basic thing about Olianas, but is he even here? Does not convey this does not convey that somehow this is you know, the most likely thing for me to know and therefore I should know it. Uh, in our WH questions, there's some doubt about whether they are information seeking, possibly the yes no questions are informa information seeking. So in the simplest case, it is possible that even in 13 should be reduced to our even. Um, however, John, we're finishing up. However, the description of our even that we gave earlier is correct. It seems hard to extend it to those cases of, is he even here? Because, as I said before, many of you nodded, what is the most basic proposition that I'm unaware of when I say, is he here even? So this seems hard to unify. So then we have two cases of our even, one epistemic one, the one that ranks propositions by likelihood of our knowing them, and one that is not epistemic. Okay. Um, so what, in the non-epistemic, what is the, that is being conveyed when I say, is he even here, or can he even talk? What well, seems that somehow there's talk about the proposition that is the minimum prerequisite for the situation, the question to be feasible. So, you know, he has to be here to cook. Or he has to be able to cook, to cook serniki with, uh, with raspberry sauce. And um, consider this final example that shows that it's not a likelihood thing, but it's actually a prerequisite thing, because on the assumption that it's not likely that people are you sort of being doctors, but can you say, A said, did he get the Nobel Prize in medicine? I say, huh? Is he even a doctor? Okay. So there, um, it's not about the likelihood of being a doctor, it's about 
does it meet even the most basic uh, prerequisite that would be relevant? So, conclusion. We have found some occurrences of even that, as far as we can tell, and as far as we can tell is that this morning um, we, we looked over the example sentences in papers with even because we didn't have time to read them, and we didn't find these example sentences, so we think that uh, you know, possibly they have not been discussed before. Uh, the interpretation and syntactic distribution of our even differs from the more known one. And at least in Russian, our even has a different phonetic exponent than the more, um, the even that has been studied uh, more. Thank you. They only had one minute and 18 minutes over if we give them each seven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Which, so they just misunderstood the instructions and went a little bit over. So before we start with a couple of questions here, um, so it is already the case that the, cog, the cult fest is supposed to start in 20 minutes. So we're going to start the cult fest 15 minutes late at 3.45. We can't do more than that. It's still not going to give people who want to go to both a lot of time but, um, in between. But, so we'll have a few minutes for questions, and we'll start the cult fest at 3.45. Questions? Karen. 